this video I like to explain to you the move binary rule for C by K parsing for tree adjoining grammars. The move binary rule, as you can see here, needs two items. The, and the intuition behind it, if, behind it is if you have a tree, for example, like this, that has two daughter nodes and you have two items, one is in the top position of this node and one is in the top position of that node and this one this item ends where this one begins then we can create a new item where we move both up and create a new item where we are in the bottom position of the mother node of the two nodes that's the intuition behind it and now let's see which um, how to do this? We have two trees where this, where this could apply. So we have this beta tree, there are two daughter nodes. And there's the alpha 1 tree where there are two beta nodes. Well, let's have a look at the table, what items we have. First for alpha 1. Well, here we have an item for alpha 1 where we are on the second daughter node. But we don't have any item with for alpha 1 at, in the first daughter node, or in the first child node. So we can, at the moment, we can't apply the move binary rule to the alpha 1 tree. But, so let's have a look at the beta tree. Let's have a look at the items. Here we have a beta item in the first daughter node, starting at 0 and ending at 1. Here we have another item in the first daughter node, which begins in 1 and ends in 2. We can't combine these two because they are both in the first daughter node. We, here we have another better item where we are in the second daughter node and it begins in 1. And as I previously said, we need one item in the first daughter node that ends somewhere and one in the second that begins at the same place. And as we can see, here and here, this item is in the first daughter node, in the first child node, so in that one. It ends at, the, at in the index 1. And this one is in the sec, this item belongs to the second child node and begins in the first, begins in index 1. So we could theoretically Put these, um, combine these two items with the move binary rule to get a new item. And now if we look at the other possibility, here we have the better item in the first daughter node, which ends at index 2. And here we have our item better in the second daughter node that begins in 2. So we could, we could, uh, we could use these two items together and we can use these two items together. Let's start with, with combining 3 and 5. I will apply the rule and I will get a new item. And I also know that, um, well, let's have a look at the definition. So these two must be in the same tree. Here it says gamma in my case now it's better. Then we are in the one item we are in the first daughter node and in another item we are in the second daughter node. That's what I already pointed out. Then this one starts at I, this one starts at K, this one ends at K. So I can make it in the same color. Here we have a K. Here we have a K. Then we have some more items. We have here an, an I and this new item we will get out of this. Well, maybe let's just go in order. So the item we will get of this, out of this will have the same tree as the previous two items. We will be in the mother node, so this is the first daughter node of a node and this is the second daughter node and we will move up to the parent. So in this case it's a, it's a root node, so it's epsilon. We will be in the 
Um, we will be in the bottom position. And then here we have I. And the left daughter node begins in I. So I will copy the India index from here. In this case, it's zero. It, let's just go to the last place because it's now easy to spot out. The, sec, the item from the second daughter node ends in J. And this, this item is supposed to end in, in, in J. So um, we copy the, in this, in the, our case, this item ends in index 3, so our new item will end in index 3. Now, it's, what we have here is, looks a little bit complicated. In the first item, we have, um, we have any food node span, and in the second, we have any other food node span. But, um, Maybe, as you know, in an auxiliary tree, we can only have one footnote. So, um, only one of those will be set and the others will just be um, lines like that, like in this case. So, the plus, as the comparison between F1 and F1 bar that says, we just take the one that we got. If uh, so one of them will be empty, maybe two of them will be empty. If one of uh, them will be set, then we just take the one that is set. So let's have a look. Here we just have the, we have nothing, but in this item we have the footnote span from one to three. So we copy the one and the three from this item. And that's our new item we got up out of items three and five. Now let's combine five, uh, sorry, four and six. We will get another item. It will be again in the better tree. We are uh, again in daughter no in nodes one and two, so we will go to the we will go to the root node in the bottom position. We will copy the first index from the first item here, so the one. This item will end where the second item ends, so in this case it's three again. And we will copy a dot, uh, the span of the footnote if it's there, and we have one in item six, so it's from two to three. And that was another application of the move binary rule. And that are the two new items we could generate out of this.